And uh, do you want to start us off, or should I? Uh, well, I guess we can, uh, or I'll do it, uh, because right. I talk a lot. And yeah, so do I. Yeah, we're currently <laughs> taking up Galacticraft, uh, which we figured would be kind of fun and slightly different. It's not that different from regular Minecraft. Yeah, except for the fact where we have the chance of being horribly left in space. Yeah, left but... in space without oxygen or food. Or, you know, anything else we need to survive. But hey, that's the risk of being an explorer of the new frontier. And as John Luke Picard would say, make it so. Yes, and I'm pretty sure that NASA started out like this. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, like, you know, it punching started off down with a bucket, some string. Yeah, and punching down trees for wood. A catapult. Yeah, that's basically how everyone starts out. A Bunsen burner, just all random science equipment that nobody really knows how to use. Yeah, they're actually just left over from, like, a uh, high school's chemistry lab that shut down. Yeah, we even used, you know, a couple of turkey basters, too, to get uh, Neil Armstrong up into the moon. True story. Uh, My uh, grandfather was one of them. Exactly. A Wait. turkey baster. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but then again, nothing I say does, so we're in good It was company. a similar story to that one, you know, that episode of whatever it was, where they kept the hillbilly mother under a bed with no arms or legs. Oh, that was uh, the X-File. That sounds like... Fear. I mean, that's a. Yeah, that's. Isn't the X Files now like some sort of like American Idol thing? Um, X Factor. X Factor. That was in. Oh, those are definitely two different things. Similarly horrifying, from what I've seen. Well, present day X Factor is. I mean, Angel likes not to watch the shows, but listen to some of the singers once they've gotten you know. Good. Well, like, usually, like when they've wheedled out all the bad ones? Oh, uh, no, like usually the ones that get wheedled out because they're fucking not perfect looking or what have you. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I mean, well, I mean, like, uh, oh, what's her name? Rosie O'Donnell? No, yeah. Susan Boyle. Yeah. Um, was like, you know, she's not attractive, but she was an amazing singer. That works. Yeah, she was a really, really good singer, and everyone's like, oh, but she doesn't look right. And when she went on the show, everyone was kind of uh, just. Yeah, like, oh, look at this. And then she started singing, and it was a, oh, holy shit. And they're like, holy, holy shit. shit. <laughs> yeah. It's usually the ones you least expect. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I don't know, I like the show, but I like, like, the first episodes where they're still getting everybody in, and there's a lot of bad singers. Yeah. I don't mean to be a horrible person, but it's kind of funny. I'm oh, no, I, I totally love to laugh <laughs> at other people's misfortune. I know, it's great. But then again, I also don't blame it when other people laugh, uh, blame them when other people laugh at mine, because I'm like, yeah, I would. Too. I mean, yeah, it's fair. I mean, you gotta. Like, I just had, um, like, for Christmas, I spent all my money, and like I mentioned to you, I bought myself a kit to build Tom Servo from MST3K. Just sweet. And I just had the frustrating moment of it turns out there are certain types of primer that if you mix them, they end up, like, crackling, like, a dried out desert landscape. That is horrible. I mean, it's like, like I don't know, some like Leona Helmsley. Wait, what the hell? Uh. Oh my god, we have that mod where it drags and it like puts it down. I think that's uh, standard in Minecraft now. Is it really? Yeah, the oh, drag god, and you I can put multiple crap. things down. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> played vanilla Minecraft, and this is actually really close to vanilla, surprisingly. Yeah, no, all we have is, like, extra stuff, that's about it. Yeah, there's, like, extra ores that go into making various things. The only thing we don't have, which I uh, probably should have installed, would be uh, NEI, because I have no idea how we make any of the things. Yeah, I should probably have a wiki up or something. Yeah, I, uh, if I were thinking about it, I would have my netbook next to me so that I could go, hold on! But I didn't. Yeah, if my phone was anywhere near me, I'd use that one. I don't plan ahead. No, but that's that, okay. We're we're geniuses. We can figure it out. No, but it's just been. It was, that's what I have spent the majority of today carefully scraping off primer off of very soft plastic with really <laughs> sharp knives. Just going, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, it reminds me of a story my dad told me. He uh, used to be really into like models and stuff like that when he was a kid. Mm. And um, he'd have incidents like that too. Only they would end up a lot worse. Like uh, he was supposed to paint the cockpit of one of his, like, really expensive fighter jet models that he paid for himself. Mm -hmm. And he, like, he got a job and everything, and, yeah. you know, he, it took him a while, and he finally got the model. And he was about to finish it with a nice coat of that sleek shine stuff. Yeah. And it turned out to be white paint. Oh. And little did he know that his life was about to change forever. I've, I actually have done that several point or at several points now with various projects, like working on Crow, I've 
thought clear coat or thought clear coat was white paint. It was uh, or thought mm-hmm. white paint was uh, clear coat, and it did exactly that. Oh God! And it was kind of a well. I'm glad I keep rubbing alcohol around, and it's spray paint because it comes off. I'm sure Crow was upset by that. Yes. You know, one thing I'm, I'm sad that we didn't do for this is change our skins to MST3K characters. Yeah, that This be... is the one time where that would have been awesome. Well, that... I mean, it would have been awesome any time, but this is where it would have been applicably awesome. Yes, yeah, so it's a shame we can't build robots. There that might would be, be a... nice. If I can find a mod for any type of robots, I might have to add it in before... Uh... Yeah, there's a mod for everything. I'm sure there's an MST3K mod. There's gotta Just be. Just the NPCs or something. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, but my, my friend and I actually have plans... Because, you know, we play Final Fantasy XIV together, and his character's name is Tom Servo, and mine is Crow Robot. That works. So, eventually we're going to show up at, like, well, if he moves back this year like he's planning to, we're probably going to go to the last Otakon in Maryland like that. Oh, right, yeah. Because uh, I look, or I could easily cosplay as the one character, Frank, from the early... Yeah, I know who Frank is. Yeah, I could easily I like cosplay that. as Frank if I just got a haircut and, uh... Dyed your hair blonde? <laughs> yeah, blonde or whitish blonde. Or just wear a wig. Uh, I've never... Well, actually, I have a friend who... I have a... F- I have the really frightening cosplay friends. Oh, God. Where Me they too. have... I, mine, sorry, mine crossplays, so... Well, no, I mean, I have the ones that, like, have mastered frightening levels of skill just for individual costumes. Yeah, there are a lot of really good people out there who do the good kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's kind of horrifying how good they are, and they make it look really scary. Yeah, like I had one friend who learned how to professionally make wigs for a costume. That is above what I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, like, the, I am, you know, individually sewing, like, or knotting three pieces of hair at a time onto this piece of twill, or whatever the fuck it is. Right. That, yeah, my uh, my friend's a makeup artist, and she's really good with uh, doing art on faces and stuff like that, like zombie gore and stuff like that. And it's a bit weird, but it's not like piecing human hair together. Right. Uh, and then one of them actually has become a uh, well enough known as a designer just from what they have done. Ah, starting to build a house. Yep. That's a smart move because I forgot about that completely. Yeah, but, uh, me too, actually. I was just walking around gathering wood, and I was like, wait, what am I doing? But she actually, they told her last year when she tried out that her stuff was actually too good to be on Project Runway. Well, I'm not sure if that would be a good thing or a bad thing. I guess I'd take it as a compliment, but I'd still be kind of upset. And they were like, you know, you, you show a level of professionalism too high for our show, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, huh, okay. <laughs> it's like, I guess I'll go home now and think about what just happened. But then again, they also sent her a thing this year saying they were going to do maybe some, or they might be doing the next season with uh, people that demonstrate above average skill. That works. And also, right. I just realized that there's this floating boulder right next to the house. Yeah, that's where I've been getting our cobblestone. Oh. <laughs> there's coal oh, up there. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> I thought it was natural, I was about to say. Space oh, no, stuff no. is already happening. Yeah, well, it's flo- Well, actually, no, it uh, was floating when we got here. Oh, well, in that case, Jesus. Yeah, Minecraft uh, and the laws of physics don't exactly work together naturally, but... Hey, that's oh, fine, God. Boy. Oh, shit, I The just sun just suddenly hand. went down. Well, that's horrifying. <laughs> like, uh, what the hell? You need to go to space and solve the sun crisis. Yes, the sun disappeared. It's like an old Marvel Comics plot line. <laughs> the sun disappeared. The sun We're disappeared. Here Who did it? Well, it's one of four villains because it always is. It's uh, either Loki or... Oh, shit, what's happening? Oh, this is where the door going? Or well, I figured it might as well be. I, guess, uh, I just realized I didn't really make this long enough uh, to uh, accommodate the door evenly. But that's all right. Uh, I want to start... Well, first of all, this day cycle was really short. Yeah. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Make some torches. Fill now. in here. <laughs> oh, I don't have a furnace. Well, that oh, would be well, a uh, here, have some cobble. I've got three cobblestone. I just need to borrow some. I'm going to... All right, let's, this... Where's the... crafting table's outside. I'm going to make another in here. Why wouldn't it be? We made an error in judgment. Up real quick. Actually, your design looks yeah, way better. Oh, God. Uh, but, yeah, I, yeah, but I have friends that, like... They develop the frightening levels of skill for costumes, and I'm just sitting back going, I just like doing stuff. 
I think the really cool ones are the ones that use like silicone and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, um, I have. Like just seamlessly attach it to their face and make it look natural. Yeah. Should we put a floor? Uh, or is that too Let's worry about the floor designs? after we get walls. Because yeah. the walls will keep monsters from eating our faces. That is true. But, um... I'm so glad there aren't any flying enemies. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll take out right, the now dirt. that's up, I'm just going to just there, there. And uh, I'm going to make some torches real quick before we uh, get yeah. swarms in uh, our own dojo. But I actually have a friend who is, um... He managed to get into, like, a planet Hollywood somewhere that has, like, the Ghostbusters proton packs... Is that like a, a craft store or something? Um, no, it's like a chain of restaurants. And, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it, it basically is a restaurant where the walls and everything in them are completely covered by actual movie props. That sounds amazing. And, yeah. That's so kind of like a hard rock cafe of... Yeah, of uh, oh, movies. Okay. But he actually got into one and then... I'll put a door here. Oh, God, it's dark. There we go. But he got into one and managed to get a really close, like, unobstructed view of an original Ghostbusters proton pack. That so is awesome. He is, is uh, he, he is a prof uh, he does, like, hand work on cars for a living, like, recreating various parts of them. Nice. So he was able to hand sculpt a proton pack that looks almost perfect, and he's going to start mass producing them. That sounds amazing and also an easy way to get money for a mechanic. Yeah. I mean... I remember uh, when I went to MechaCon at some con over in Louisiana, or uh, New Orleans, Louis which is Louisiana, I guess. Yeah. And um, there was a Ghostbuster guy there, and he was amazing. Like, he had, like, the jumpsuit, and like, but the proton pack was, like you said, just, like, a spitting image of the one in the movie. Yeah, and he's... And also, uh, they're making a third one, right? Yeah, they are, and it only took, uh, like, years and years and years for Bill Murray to finally agree to it. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least he's still around to make one. Yeah, but it was just kind of funny because it apparently happened like every one of the other guys knew it would happen, which was Bill Murray called like Dan Aykroyd at like four in the morning one evening and went, all right, I'll be in the fucking movie. All right, <laughs> so you because just wake up one day, it's like, eh, I guess I'll do it. He had just, yeah, he had just like refused to be in it and, uh, you know, up until that point and then one day he just called him and was like, all right, let's do this. 30 years later. Yeah. Also, um, I have one wool. So if you want to make like a really tiny bed and see if you can both squeeze into it, I guess okay. that'll work. All right. Oh, that skeleton over there. Or we can just get more wool. Yeah. He's ignoring me. Yeah. For the most part. I don't know if I turned off uh, player versus player, so I'll try and avoid the sword for now. Well, you're full of arrows. Or arrows. All right. But, um... We should kill this and gain its power because I'm at, like, four chicken legs or ham legs or whatever those are. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be, like, hams, I guess. Who knows? Did I get... It didn't even drop anything. That son of a bitch. Yeah, they really... It's like they have a chance to either be, like, horribly bulimic or just the plumpest pig you've ever seen. That's a creeper. That's not going to give me food. That's horrifying. It's just watching us from the tree line, like, soon. <coughs> oh, God. Zool! Speaking of Ghostbusters. Huh. Well, our house looks pretty good, so I think that's the first step towards going to the moon. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a fairly nice... Oh, wait, there is pork chops. Ooh, sorry, missed it. That's right. Ah. Well, oh, fuck boy. You. Fuck you, creeper. That's Don't worry, right. I have a crafting bench for this exact predicament. There we go. Yeah. Problem solved. Perfect. And world hunger. And Invest in a crafting a zombie bench. zombie following one of us, and I think it's me. Nope. Oh. And player Put versus player. Put that's so. it. Oh god, I just realized I'm going to die soon. Say, well, I'm gonna run inside, cook this pork chop, and pretend like I know what I'm doing. Hold on. I'm gonna. Please get away from me, zombie. I'll have time for your shit. Oh god. Needlessly fill no, in god. this. Ugh. I keep thinking I'm playing a sword. All right, I can't hit this. There we go. That was a horrifying. All right, so. Wow, there's I a lot of zombies out here. Complete hunger. Uh, two and a half hearts left, and I keep thinking L, and I keep thinking I'm playing like Half Life Two or something. So I'm desperately pressing E to try and close the door, and it's only opening and closing my inventory. And I almost died because the zombie was coming after me. Yeah, I'm also, not. Ex I'm not in great shape either. But is um, this normal. I mean, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's what out for a second so I can get this pork shop so I don't die. Well, did you uh, hear that? Of, or that they changed the zombie spawning rate? So the more you stay in one place, the more zombies will spawn. That is neat and horrifying. 
kind of like, okay, they're taking away most of the fun. I get it. Makes it a lot harder. I mean, 